But we begin with America Votes coverage as Ohio voters get ready to head to the polls next week. You probably heard all about state issues one and two, the controversial abortion amendment and the initiative to legalize recreational marijuana in Ohio. But there are a number of local issues on the ballot as well. Like issue 20 in Lorain County, also known as the seven districts plan that would expand the current number of county commissioners from three to seven. Tonight, News 5's Brent Caswell explains both sides of the issue dividing current county government. 86 out of 88 counties in Ohio have Board of Commissioners. And Cuyahoga and Summit counties are the only ones in Ohio to have charter forms of government with an elected council and an elected county executive. If issue 20 passes, these are the seven districts Lorraine County will be broken into. Each of these seven districts would then vote for one representative of their choice who would serve on the Board of County Commissioners. Board President for the Lorraine County Commissioners, David Moore, who introduced this legislation for this year's ballot, says it's not about gerrymandering or party grabs. By dividing the county up into seven equal districts, it brings more of a different perspective to county government so that people in the rural areas will have the, a voice just as the cities would have the same voice. Moore says issue 20 would cut salaries by 40% for each commissioner, equaling around $56,000 in pay per commissioner. This would total $392,000 a year for all seven commissioners. What elected official will run for office and say, cut my pay and cut my power so we could have equal representation? That's why it hasn't been done yet. If passed based on current commissioner salaries, which are over $90,000, that would mean over $100,000 more a year will be spent on commissioner salaries. I work in county government. There's not going to be offsets in the in the cost. It will cost you more. Current county commissioner Michelle Hung and current county auditor Craig Snowgrass are strongly against issue 20 because they feel Lorraine County residents' votes will be diluted and the finances aren't adding up for them. I think you're diminishing uh, people's actually choices, votes. Right now we get to vote on all our representatives, all three county commissioners, 100% of the vote, right? And with this proposal, you get to vote on one out of seven or 14%. If issue 20 passes, it would also give newly elected officials the option to create new departments in the county, like the Department of Corrections, Law, Finance, and Personnel, which would dictate countywide hires, buyers, and money. If they want to take on and run a jail, go for it. You know what? I, I would recommend not to. You know, and if they were to take it over, they'd probably hire the people that are running it right now. Sodegrass believes issue 20 creates a loss of checks and balances. No one person, no one uh, party should have all power. And I'm afraid that this ballot will do that. With issue 20, it will take four votes versus the current two to get issues passed at the county level. Each current elected commissioner will also have to run for re-election. Reporting in Elyria, Bryn Caswell, News 5.